Hi guys, the first thing we have to do now is to go to imcat.ac.in. That's the main website, imcat.ac.in. It will load the front page. On the front page, you have to search for the link, cat 2019 mock test link. Yep, so it's a self already filled table here. So it's a sample document, so don't need to worry about that. So the moment you sign in, we can get the look and feel of the sheet of the exam day, how the exam day will look like. Yeah, so that's a complete screen we have in front of us. Yep, that's how the screen will look like. So you have to first accept, read all the instructions, you have to press next and press I'm ready to begin. So that's the exact interface of our mocks as well. So there's no change as as for a CD mock, there's no change in the interface. Yep, so that's the verbal session starts now. So verbal session there's no major change. The complete th 34 question as it is. So no change which I can feel out in the verbal section. Yep, I've done the analysis as well of all the questions which have come. So this is the complete, all the questions which have come. If I make a pivot table out of that, so that, that's what I was doing today. <clears throat> so section wise, RC and non-RC number of questions. We okay, can get a feeler here. So total 34 question, no problem, no changes in that. And if I look at the question, inference based area wise breakup. So business 10 questions, history 5, science 4, social 5. So I've told you earlier as well, the breakup, there are four types of RC. In fact, yesterday only made the video of that, four type of RC. You can see here, all four, the, the, all four RCs are covered. In this thing. Then from the VA, VA session or odd man out three questions, para jumble four questions, summary based three questions. Yeah, that's a nice complete breakup here. Now, if I do the breakup on the base of the inference based question, so that we can understand how many questions are based on inference in fact. So, five questions I have not yet marked. <coughs> Main objective was inference based, inference based fact-based, inference-based, fact-based. Alright, so if I check it out. Yep, so 11 questions based on fact, 13 questions based on inference in the RC section. So that's a good news for us that there's no major change in the verbal section, the level of difficulty is comparatively more easier. Yep. RC. No problem at all. So this is exactly same as 2018 ka paper. So 2017-18. So cutoff will remain almost same as last couple of years. Alright. So I don't feel there's any major changes in the verbal section which is question markable or which have to be thinking about so brilliant so you can download you can solve this paper there is no solution available so don't need to waste your time in solving the paper because you have to wait for three hours continuously i'm going to do that anyway but you don't need to waste your time on that all right so all the best all right move to the day logic section the first set is based on the pro pro profitability so it's quite simple set you can try to solve this set second set is based on a uh, caselet there's a nice caselet given here third set is quant based di fourth set is seeding arrangement the typical seeding arrangement fifth set is the logic based di this is the typical di set which i expect in the cat exam Another DI logic based DI ABC ABC all this kind of wording. 
and surprisingly there are only 28 questions that's a major change here we are expecting so if I do uh, I took down all the question here and made a pivot table out of that so once I made the pivot table I realized the pattern remains same case layer one set percentage based question one set logic based di two sets quant based di one set arrangement one coin decoding one so that the typical in line with the level of difficulty of last year paper this is comparatively more easier than last year paper but yeah no major changes here except for one set is reduced so there instead of eight there are seven sets now yep so overall cutoff obviously will come down a little, little bit instead of eight correct now we have to have sorry six correct was 80 percentile now five correct will become 80 percentile I'll do a complete analysis of the new expected cutoff once these things become uh, more clear how many questions are going to be there so all the things become clear all right all right now I'll submit this paper so dialogic 28 question verbal we saw 34 questions so no problem at all now I'll try to submit let's see oh brilliant so I can submit it great so I saved my time and 108 minute left so this is wrong here so timer wise there is a problem here so we don't need to look at that all right move to the quant section now so quant section the moment I start the paper we can see a case rate type question here for with the question but when I press the next button we have the same second question third question fourth question so this is basically the di part which have come into the quant section yeah so there's no change in there it's a di part only so i'll add this question into the di section so there's a second question on caselet so here i have converted i'm going to convert this into di logic so this is a di caselet which have come here and each of the question is here one mark so i'm writing one here okay So four questions are on that so basically the di is 32 questions sorry my mistake i couldn't read it right so there are total 32 question only in di logic no change in the paper pattern yeah now comes the question start from time speed distance first question time speed distance second question again time speed distance this is trust me the most common question two cars going towards a, a each other car a going toward b car b going towards a this most common type of question which you can get yeah same way I marked up all the thing all the questions so now if I do a p pivot on that so section we will take obviously quant arithmetic geometry numbers so number of questions if we check on each of them so arithmetic six question equations 2 geometry 2 menstruation 3 modern mass 11 numbers 3 time speed distance time network 7 now i normally combine them together i normally combine numbers and geometry into one area yeah so if i do that here like geometry or geometry and number for me is combined one area gn yep so menstruation also part of that gn yeah so if now if i do that analysis so brilliant so arithmetic six equations two modern maths 11 time speed distance seven geometry number eight question now if i compare this with last year last year geometry number was seven time speed distance time and work pnc probability all seven modern maths were nine and this thing together were 11 so the approximately level of difficult the paper pattern they maintained same way so no change in that as well so this time first time they have given us a brilliant paper which actually resembles a real cat paper okay now if i go deep down into the type of questions which have come in each of them modern maths apgp1 corner geometry 1 so let's do it one by one so arithmetic we have got mixtures four question percentage is one 
and ratios one. So there's the bias here. Equation one on cubic one quadratic. Perfectly all right. Modern maths eleven question APGP conjugate functions indices logs maximum minima n terms sets and sum of n terms. Set set theory two questions. PNC one time and work one time and work three question total and times per distance three question. That's again a bias towards one side. Which normally don't happen in the CAT exam. Geometry and numbers total eight questions. Angles one, area three, circles one, and numbers three questions. Fine. So the breakup, overall breakup, remain good. Sounds good. This breakup, but the questions here, mixtures four question is thoda sa. So if I summarize everything, this sounds like a good paper. We should have tried. You should have tried as a student. You should have solved this. You should. Solve these questions. I'll try to solve this question as well. So overall paper pattern, no changes at all. There's one mistake because of that. The DI looks less. Otherwise, there's no change in the paper pattern. Yep. So you can solve the question now. Let's submit it and see whether you can actually see the answers. So once you submit, you can press OK here. OK, press the OK successfully. Come and exit the exam. OK, exit. There is no solution available, so please don't waste your time solving the question on the sheet. We can solve the question offline. You want to solve, you can solve that. But otherwise, there is no fun giving the mock. Instead of this, give a mock. Yeah. So that's a complete analysis in front of us for the paper. Quant section, thirty-four questions. And this gives the breakup as well. You can pause and note the breakup. This is for the DA logic, and that's for the verbal section. Great. All the best. Thank you. So no change in the cutoff. I'm going to launch the expected paper by the this week. Within this week, I'll upload the expected paper as well, so that everyone can try to solve the expected 2019 paper. Every year I make a paper. So this as well, I'm trying to make the paper. All the best. Thank you. All right. So look at the task for the day. So those those who have not yet joined the program, they can join us by clicking on the link below for the thirty days to CAT program, or they can join our WhatsApp group so that I can update the homework there as well, or we can talk to each other. Those WhatsApp group are acting as the doubt solving groups. So today's homework is inequality. Inequality is coming coming consistent in the CAT exam two question every year. And trust me, it's one of the easiest way to solve using the G strategy which we have. So this week, I want you to today. I want you to follow inequalities. So if you have the shortcuts, it'll be great. Trust me, our inequality is one topic which can recover your fees invested in fee taking because of the shortcuts. So look at the shortcuts in E classes, and then two question of uh, two question the CAT exam. You have to solve at least thirty question. <coughs> Upload a handout feeding dot com slash inequalities. You can download the handout as well for the inequalities. Number two task is to take a mock. So CAT mock number eleven, CK mock number eleven is your target. And the challenge remains same. Whoever solves the maximum number of inequality question, I will name them in the video. Yeah. And post please post in the comments about how you did. You did well. You did bad. Please mention all those things. So today, today I especially want to want to mention Bharti. Bharti normally sleeps around nine, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, she's a early bird. But yesterday night she was working, studying till night twelve o'clock to complete all the task. Yeah. So kudos to her. Yeah. So please mention your story so I can name you in the video. So every day I'll pick a one student whose story I'm going to. Mention for that. I need to know the stories, so you have to tell me your stories so that we can motivate others as well by giving your examples. All right, all the best.